what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the job site what are we working on today all right you guys seen the title of the video we've got a 329d with some hvac problems let's go ahead and get in the cab and i'll show you how to navigate around the denso uh, hvac panel all right to start if on your hvac panel you've got an e-fault like that one right there well let's go ahead and check that so we're going to power it off and we're gonna hit the two temperature buttons until a code pops up. All right, so we got an E43, which is basically a damper code. All right, so let's say I wanted to clear this code. So what would I do? So basically I'd go over here and hit these two buttons right here and hold them down and code clears. All right, so that's the easy stuff right there. That's just clearing codes. All right, so we now have the operational, it's running, but let's say we wanted to check what the sensor readings were on the HVAC panel. So what we would do is we'd hit this button right here, and then we'd also hit this button right here, hold it in until the temperature starts to flash. All right, so now it's flashing. So now we can hit defroster and it'll tell me, okay, we got 78 right there, 76 right there. Again, sorry for the shorter video, but I know that I've had issues with working around these um, particular Denso HVAC panels, and I know it's not worldly known. Um, a lot of times you're having to look it up, and even SIS it doesn't give you a whole lot of information. You can use SIS, though, to diagnose, diagnose the uh, E codes you may get. Hopefully this helps you guys out, and as always, like, share, subscribe, P-Pump the world, and I'll see you guys in the next video.